So, welcome to the airborne side of the business. So we have a dramatic new announcement in the area of wide area mapping, and that is the new and improved VQ1560i. The 1560i features a number of improvements in many different areas. The previous system was collecting information at roughly half a million points per, per second. This new system features a net effective measurement rate of 1.3 million shots per second. This is amazing. This is dramatic in terms of productivity enhancements. In addition, we are also creating the ability for the user to be able to cut out some typical softwares that were in the middle of the processing sequence. And so we have upgraded that, which means that it's less expensive to operate. This also means that the processing is faster. We're doing a number of issues with regard to processing the data on board the sensor in near real time. So we have <clears throat> computer-based systems within this that are actually enhancing the ability of the user to be able to capture data more efficiently, once again, register it, and to create near real time data sets in LAS files as you're in the air before you land. And those can be used for either reviewing what it is that you flew to capture, or if it's an emergency response situation, you can immediately have a LAS file capable to be sent out to first responders and to be able to take care of their mapping requirement needs on a very real-time basis. So that's uh, the big news associated with this. Um, there's a number of visual features that are dramatically different than the previous system, but this is building on the very strong success of the Q1560i. The Q1560i is an amazing, amazing productivity enhancer in the airborne market, and it's really helping to drive costs down for our users. Okay, everyone, thanks for coming along with us on this, uh, this ride through Regal Land here at, at Energeo 2016. So the next business segment that I want to talk to everyone about is our UAV business segment. So the UAVs are an important new emerging area within the world of surveying, mapping, things of that nature. And here at Regal, we have um, brought out several years ago the VUX one UAV. So as you can see, this is a very sm uh, small um, LiDAR sensor and uh, it's had a wonderful introduction for about the last year and a half. We've sold many, many units and this is providing um, very precise survey grade accuracy and LiDAR data sets available from UAVs. So with that success, Regal is announcing this year as a new product here at Energeo the Mini VUX1 UAV. So as you can see, this is a dramatically smaller sensor than the previous unit. Not only is it smaller in a form factor, but also the weight is 1.6 kilograms or roughly three pounds. So what this does for us is this opens up a brand new class of UAVs for the sensor to be mounted on, and this allows also existing UAVs to incorporate this new sensor to be able to have extended flight times associated with their, uh, whether it be a fixed wing aircraft or, or a multi-copter, uh, as you see here in the background. So, as I transition, you can see the Regal Copter in the background. This is an octocopter, fantastic UAV. It is a very professional mapping platform for surveyors in the UAV space. This year we're announcing really in a, a, an incredible new bathy copter. So the copter along with the float base <clears throat> has been created and developed so that we can take this sensor, which is a profiler, so inside here is a laser rangefinder, and you can see the laser mirror that comes out, and so as my finger points down, and this is mounted on the aircraft, this allows the surveyor to be able to capture bathymetric information, 
on ponds, rivers, um, um, hydrographic infrastructure, maps, uh, dams, things of that nature. Uh, so this is an exciting new development for us. And what this does is it's another tool for the surveyors to use on their UAVs along with camera systems. So for instance, on the previous Regal Rycopter, when we implemented the VUX-1 originally, we also integrated it with a GNSS solution from Aplanix. This particular one happens to be the um, AP-20 from Aplanix, so it's a very uh, sophisticated, very capable, very precise GNSS solution that's on the back end of this. That also will be featured on this, cape, on this sensor, uh, the Mini VUX, and there will be a different version, the APX-15 from Aplanix, built inside this system that will fly on the Bathy Copter. So along with these, we utilize two Sony A6 cameras to be able to capture the field of view so that we get the camera information, image information, and the photogrammetric content necessary for the surveyor to complete their activities.